you know, if this had been going on very long, there would be, like on the swans, there would be, you know, a hundred people down here. <laughs> Well, it's like the sky just exploded. I mean, you know, that, as I said, that's what's so exciting. Somebody said, oh, it's spring fever. I said, are you kidding? I'm rabid. It's not spring fever <laughs> after the snow this year. So this is truly, you know, a treat. It just, you know, you get lucky sometimes. And I had a feeling it had something to do with low tide but I didn't see enough people on the side of the road to make me want to bother. So I headed to where I'd been told they were, which was that direction on open water. And as I said, I saw nothing. And had it not been for the magpies, um, I'd have gone home and missed it, you know? But they kept me here long enough to watch the waves of the snow geese come in, so. This is cool. I mean, as I said, it's just, to me, it's just a rare opportunity. I mean, I heard last um, fall that a few snow geese had come through. And I've been told that it's, you don't usually see them very often. So I know I've never seen any, so I'm, I'm really excited. And I said, it's a shame you didn't see them just coming in, literally wave after wave after wave. And I trained my camera on them to make sure that they weren't Canada geese, you know. I wanted to make sure, because it's hard when you're in silhouette. And I'm going, nope, they're white. She knew what she was talking about.